Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a really different video. I don't really film videos like this, but it kind of gets me motivated. <laughs> so that's why I am bringing out the camera today and doing this with you guys, but I'm doing a huge closet clean out. I am sitting right in front of my closet right now and it is literally jam packed with clothes. I feel like I decided to collect clothes over quarantine for no reason because I would get bored and just shop online. And now it is time to go through my stuff and get rid of the things that I don't wear anymore. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me doing that. You guys love my cleaning videos. So I thought I'd do a little closet organization, show you guys how I organize my closet and show you some of the things I'm gonna get rid of from maybe shoes to different items. And a lot of the stuff that I will be getting rid of in my closet, I will be posting on my Poshmark for you guys to buy because some of the things are either still have tags on them, really good quality or I've never worn before. So I want them to go to a good home. <laughs> before we get into the rest of this video, I just wanna say thank you so much to Poshmark for partnering with me on this video. I thought it was perfect to do this type of video when Poshmark wanted to work with me. I've been using Poshmark for a while now and I just think it's so easy. If you want to kind of give yourself a little bit of a closet refresh or closet clean out, if you want to sell some of the items that you own or if you want to buy some new items, you can buy things that are up to 70% off retail price, which is absolutely insane. Rather than going to the store and getting things that are full price, you can get them for half off or not even half off, like more than half off if you shop through Poshmark. So you guys can click the link down below and download the app to either shop my closet or to shop other closets or sell some stuff out of your closet. My username will be right here on the screen and it will also be down below. So welcome to my closet. <laughs> Basically how I organize my closet, which you guys will see a little bit more, is I have all of my bags hanging up on the door. And then right here on the left side, right when you walk in, I have all of my dresses hanging. And then every single sweatshirt I own, unless it's like a little comfy sweatshirt, I have those on the top. But every sweatshirt I own is hanging here. They're kind of somewhat color coordinated, not really. Then I have all of my tops, my t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves and two pairs of like flowy pants and some skirts at the end. And then up here on the top, I have all of my other sweatshirts, like comfier sweatshirts. Then I have the same exact box on the other side too. One sec, let me get over there, right there. And then I have a pile of stuff that I've started to figure that I wanted to get rid of already, all right here. So great, it's really not organized up there, but it's fine. Okay, so to start, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of my hangers, like everything that's hanging, and take down things that I probably won't wear again or don't want anymore. And then I'll take down all of the stuff that I'm already selling and organize it into like different categories or something. But as I go through all of the hangers and take down things that I don't want anymore, I'm probably going to color coordinate it as I go because it's not color coordinated, color coordinated at all. Well, it somewhat is, but not really. So I'm gonna do that now and do those two things and then yeah, we'll move from there. Okay, hi. Now I am moving on to my shirts portion of my closet and my biggest tip that I have so far with cleaning out my closet is not holding any attachment to any pieces. So if you pick up a piece like, say this one, I really like the style of this top. Never worn it before actually, but it is a really nice top and it's cute. I love the style, love the way it looks on. I have it in white and black, but why do I have it in this lilac purple color when I never wear colors? I feel like colors are just so hard to wear sometimes, especially when I'm a big, like I like wearing a colorful shoe or a different sneaker or having a colorful bag and like a neutral outfit. I never wear colorful tops, so 
like I'm not gonna ever wear it and I'm not gonna just keep it because maybe one day I'll wear it. So no, we're gonna get rid of that one. As I say, like I say, I don't wear colorful things as I like literally have a whole section of colors. Well, a whole section. This is the amount of color I have in my closet, but that's great. So yeah, basically I just go through and look at all my tops. I kind of like adjust them a bit, see which ones I'm gonna wear, which ones I'm not gonna wear, which ones I don't wear. I have two different piles going right now. I need this one's see-through, so I'm not gonna wear this one. This top is a good one. Uh, this bodysuit's a good one. This top I never wear, literally ever wear. Now that I just got rid of literally everything, I am going to go through and color coordinate it as much as I can. Okay, I'm still in my closet, but I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I will be posting on my Poshmark and then after I show you some of the stuff, I'm going to be posting some of the things. Well, I'll show you guys me taking the photos for them. And then the posting process is pretty easy. All you do is you go to the app and you press upload. Then you upload some photos, you fill out some questions about the things like sizing, where it's from, color, price. And then you hit upload and it's so easy, quick. Let me see what I can show you guys. I am going to be selling some of the brands just to go over are going to be Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, I think I have a few Drew House items, Cherry items, Cherry Los Angeles, you guys probably don't even know, some of you know some of that brand, but I feel like it's not that much of a bigger brand, but I'm obsessed with it, it's where I get all my sweatsuits and stuff. Levi's, Lululemon, and things like that so let's get right into it first thing are these sweatpant shorts by the brand brand cherry los angeles and it says together we stand on the front they just did not fit my butt they were way too tight on my butt but they are a size small and they're really cute i'm loving the style of sweatpant shorts and then i have a pair of levi shorts that are just a pair of distressed jean shorts I think they're in the size, I wanna say they're the 501s, but I wanna say that they're like 25. And then some Drew House white sweatpants that just say Drew on the front, and it says small. What else do I have? I have some Aritzia sweatshirts. We love a good Aritzia sweatshirt in different colors. These colors you can't get on the website anymore. Cropped sweatshirt from Aritzia also. Some basic tanks all from different places like Urban, Aritzia, Verge Girl, things like that. What is this? Another Aritzia crop sweatshirt, aloe workout hoodie not really showing you guys the things but if you go on my poshmark you will see the items there i'm gonna do it in waves so i think by i'm gonna do like 10 items each time so once 10 items sell i'll post 10 more items once 10 items sell i'll post more 10 items just keeps me a little bit more organized and able to ship the things out to you guys quicker that's just for my organization but this sweatshirt is so cute it's from boys lie it's a little light blue sweatshirt with little babies on it some more hoodies and sweatshirts brandy melville one from the cape another hoodie from aloe oh my gosh so much stuff a pair of cherry sweatpants in the size small the ones that say together we stand again very very comfy actually the material on the inside of these ones i love it's so soft but yeah and then some tank tops from Mad Happy, Revolve, Urban, this little top from Aritzia, cute little top. 
Another tank top from Urban, another tank top from Urban, another Brandy Melville tank top, another tank top from Urban, another cute little top from Brandy, little bodysuit that still has tags on it from Aritzia, red bodysuit, very cute actually, low back. And then a little t-shirt from Brandy, little tank top from Aritzia, cropped hoodie from Brandy, one of my faves actually. I just haven't worn it in so long, so there's no point in keeping it. Little crop t-shirt, some Aritzia biker shorts, really good biker shorts, and then a bomber jacket from Lulu. It's actually a really cute bomber jacket, but I like an oversized one. So that is everything that I will be posting on my Poshmark in the next few days once you guys see this video. So keep tabs on my Poshmark. I will post a story on my Instagram also for you guys to check out all the things that I am going to be selling on my Poshmark. Again, my Poshmark, ow, I hate my funny phone. Uh, again, my Poshmark username is at ECM9. You guys can find everything there. I will also have a link down below where you can download Poshmark and I'll have my username down below and all the information you guys will need to start shopping or selling on Poshmark. Again, like I said earlier, it was super easy. Well, it's super easy to shop and sell on Poshmark. It's one of my fave apps. So yeah, check it out. And I just wanna say thank you again to Poshmark for partnering with me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little closet clean out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so very much. Bye guys.